Honorable Federal Ministers and uh, Excellency Wada and uh, Japanese friends and uh, members of Japanese delegation, government officials, Assalamu alaikum, good morning. Once again, Excellency, it's a pleasure meeting with you and this time with a very large uh, delegation. Uh, I would like to uh, welcome our um, ambassador from Japan, our friend, and all of you, great friends of Pakistan and great supporters of Pakistan. What I was saying was that uh, in 90s, up till 90s, there was a mushroom growth of Japanese uh, companies in Pakistan. You are all very visible in the city of Karachi, Lahore, you know, Peshawar and Quetta, and Japanese companies were uh, establishing their offices. You know, large investments were taking place in textile, in automobile industry, and uh, so on and so forth. Uh, lots of trade delegations were visiting Pakistan. Pakistan delegation were visiting Japan, Tokyo. Youthful days, I used to also lead delegations. So, gone are those days. We must bring them back. That's very important. And, uh, and I have to say, even at the cost of reputation, that Japan has been one of the, one of the largest uh, donors of Pakistan. And without any political strings, this is most important. There were no political strings at all. That if we do this, then this money will come. If we do that, then this money will come or will not come. And these were pure, very generous donations uh, amounting to almost $13 billion spending over the last seven decades. I would say, uh, no, total sum is, if you come to think of it, one of the largest chunk of donations to Pakistan, ground to Pakistan. JICA has been very active and uh, we need to jack, jack them up again, JICA, uh, their activities in Pakistan. So I think uh, uh, for all uh, purposes, it's a very crucial meeting, Excellency, <coughs> and I'd like to sensitize my honorable ministers and government officials to please uh, tighten our belt and uh, be smart, and talk to you, reach out to you, and find out what are the problems. Sit down, um, without even my intervention, I mean, over a cup of tea or, uh, I don't know, sukiyaki or teriyaki, <laughs> and, you know, and really have, um, you know, a very productive discussion and remove, uh, you, know, you know, cut red tapism, absolutely bureaucratic hurdles, like we have done in the case of recently in China's uh, matters and, and Turkish matter. And uh, here in Japanese, Japan is a very um, dear country to us, is a very dear friend of Pakistan. And I've always said that I have great respect for two nations, and that is in Japan and, and, and Germany. The way you have you know, rebuilt your society and your, your nation, you know, after the <coughs> Second World War is, is, is a is, is unparalleled in the annals of history, I can tell you very frankly. But above all, I have uh, witnessed Japanese ethics, business ethics myself. I know it personally from my visit to Japan, my, my interaction with Japanese company, and highest quality and commitments and, uh, and implementation, you know, honoring agreements, honoring your uh, pledges, and, uh, and hard work, untiring efforts, this is uh, unheard of, and we really need to emulate this model in Pakistan, amongst other other models. So, with these opening remarks, Excellency, I would like to thank you. This was 2016, a very hard negotiation with Saduki, Pakistan, for 50,000 pieces, uh, both Bulan and Ravi, uh, for uh, unemployed youth of Punjab. First, uh, you know, we had a very hard discussion. Uh, I mean, because uh, Park Suzuki is a public sector company, so there is a notification in the government of Pakistan that they can, uh, you know, without uh, G2G, the government can buy uh, without uh, you know, bidding process. But for us, that was not enough. So we sat down with them. So we 
slashed down the prices for this 50,000 uh, pieces of uh, cars, both Bulan and Ravi, uh, to the tune of two and a half billion rupees. So this was the first discount. Agreement signed, now letter of credits opened. Uh, I want to, I'm, I'm not speaking for myself, but I'm trying to narrate the story to inspire you. But this is how nations are built. And this was a small, humble contribution, which I want to uh, you know, mention here. One day I was, LCs opened everything, finished, an agreement log, letter of credit opened by Punjab Bank. One day I was uh, sitting and reading Dawn newspaper before going to the office. And I saw a small news item that uh, <coughs> Yen has uh, got devalued, you know, was every dollar. Immediately this, this transaction came to my mind. I said, oh my God, Suzuki is going to have a windfall profit. This must be uh, passed on to us. So I first I asked my chief secretary, finance secretary, and uh, was Harvard member who were the members of the team. They went to Karachi. I said, send them and tell them they must pass on this this uh, you know windfall to us because we are not in this trade. We are passing it on to our our unemployed people. So they went to Karachi. They said, no, there's no question, and they were right. Let me say, I mean, at the outset, they were absolutely correct. Nowhere in the world that you open, um, I mean, negotiated, signed agreements, and between the government of Punjab and, and them, this is out of question. But we were not, I will come to and tell you the salient points. So then I called a meeting in Lahore at my Malton house, uh, residence we met. His MD was there, tall man. We had two and a half hours meeting. And there was no. I said, "Look, I said we are not in uh, in the business of, uh, of 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 trade. Government of Punjab is acting as a catalyst to employ unemployed. That's it. And uh, the, so we are not into uh, profit making, and we are not into loss making. We are passing on. I mean, uh, what we call um, you know best competitive prices. And also, government of Punjab is picking up the the the, the interest cost." So a pure loan amount is being transferred to uh, the person, to the borrower, and he will pay in installments after earning money from this investment. They said, yes, Stephen said, this is correct, but uh, why are you forcing us something which is, uh, which is not your domain? I said, look, you are making money, you are making profit out of this uh, you know, devaluation of yen. You must pass it on to us. And then his MD made a very pertinent point, and I've, for which I had no answer. He said, uh, "Okay, Chief Minister, tell me, had the yen been revalued, would you compensate us for that loss?" I said, "Then I wouldn't have raised this question." <laughs> no, the, 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 there was a big laughter. To cut this long story short, I mean, they were very kind. I must thank them, of course, unwillingly, most unwillingly. They saw the point that Punjab government's effort is to provide best possible terms to the borrower, that is, our uh, unemployed youth, boys and girls, both. And they gave us a check of 400 million of rupees. Now, this is unheard of in the history of, uh, of uh, business world. But then give them a big, big hand. Yeah. So this is our friendship. And this is all, you know, uh, most, uh, I mean, uh, what we call uncalled for demand, but I, uh, uh, you know, was trying to fight for the rights of my people, and they cooperated. This is how it should be. But when uh, the ball is in our court, if we don't kick it, then it's not fair. Thank you, Excellency. وزیر اعظم محمد شہباز شریف جاپانی سرمایہ کاروں سے گفتگو کر رہے تھے انہوں نے کہا کہ نوے کے دہائی میں بہت سی جاپانی کمپنیاں پاکستان میں کام کر رہی تھیں جاپان نے تمام سیاسی وابستگی سے بالا تر ہو کر پاکستان کی مدد کی جاپان اہم منصوبوں میں پاکستان کی معاونت کر رہا ہے انہوں نے کہا کہ پاکستان اور جاپان ایک مرتبہ پھر اپنے تعلقات کو وسط دینے کے لیے پرزم ہیں پاکستان میں گاڑیوں کے سنت نے ہزاروں افراد کو